डॉक्टर संजय अग्रवाल हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डायबिटीज एट द रूबी हॉल क्लिनिक we going to briefly discuss the relationship between diabetes and sleep disorders today let me give you some statistics patients with diabetes 50% of them tend to have sleeping disorders if you look at patients with obstructive sleep apnea almost 77% of them may have some form of disorders of the glucose metabolism if you look at the age group between 30 to 60 almost 40% of them may tend to have Uh, obstructive sleep apnea and higher the bmi the relationship to get obstructive sleep apnea is very strong so what does this all mean that patients who have diabetes we need to interrogate them for sleeping disorders now when you look at patients with diabetes some of the sleeping problem that they may encounter for various reasons may be one of course obstructive sleep apnea remains a prime concern and if they tend to be obese then this relationship is very strong so typically patients will come to us with you know disturbed sleep at night daytime increased sleepiness headaches and all these are sort of you know which points us to the direction of obstructive sleep apnea and there have been various studies which have shown that obstructive sleep apnea tends to have uh, tends to relate to you know presence of hypertension presence of metabolic syndrome presence of you know various cardiac abnormalities and patients may have disturbed sort of blood sugars when they have obstructive sleep apnea so obviously we need to diagnose these patients very early and do a test what we call as a sleep study and if they have an ahi index which is more than 5 then we need to see that you know what is the grade of obstructive sleep apnea that they have to institute treatment now putting that aside there are other reasons why sleeping problems can occur in patients with diabetes one of the most important thing that we always interrogate the patient for is presence of hypoglycemia or low sugars at night the patient can encounter and that wakes them up with typical symptoms of hypoglycemia like palpitation sweating trembling uh, you know nervousness and obviously when they look at the blood sugar they tend to be low and uh, they need to obviously look at the medications and correct the hypoglycemia at that instant one of the other reasons why patients may tend to get uh, you know sleep problems is when they have neuropathic problems in the feet so when they have neuropathic problems then they tend to get night time pains which prevents them from sleeping and because they are unable to sleep they tend to have a lot of day time fatigue setting in so obviously this is very important from our perspective that any patients who complain of daytime fatigue you have to ask them that do they have pain in the feet at night and that helps us to point to the direction of neuropathy or at times even lack of circulation to the feet patients may complain of rest pain which gets aggravated at night time so these are some of the reasons why patients tend to have very sleeping disorders another manifestation is restless leg syndrome so patients tend to have non purposeful movements of the leg and this is common in patients with diabetes where they tend, they tend to have restless leg and they keep moving and that disturbs the sleep so uh, briefly i just try to cover some of the common reasons there are many other reasons but remember friends that if you have sleeping disorders and you have presence of diabetes or you have not tested for diabetes it is an important reason we should look at this interrelationship very strongly thank you very much